We had a little bit of a travel mishap yesterday, which I will update you on in a few minutes. But first, I wanted to show you my breakfast. This is so cute in Chiang Mai. We're still in Chiang Mai. It's called Mosaic Coffee. We've both got the same thing. We went for an iced latte and a croissant. Croissant was 35 baht. The iced latte was 40 baht. So it's like 75 baht for both of that, which is like £1.70 for our breakfast. So we're outside the coffee shop now. It's getting a little bit noisy in there. But basically, yesterday on the itinerary, we were planning to go to Pai and take the four hour minivan to Pai. Check out of our hotel, head towards the bus terminal and everything. And then we realized after talking to the ticket man, or taking photos of the big fish, that I have actually booked the minivan to Pai for today, which yesterday was tomorrow, obviously. So we'd been to the bus terminal, a day early because I did not realize I don't know how I did it I don't know whether they just didn't have any available yesterday when I was booking it but I booked it for the wrong day so today we're gonna go to Pai so we quickly booked somewhere that I will show you later on we're still in Chiang Mai we're gonna go to Pai today it wasn't really something that's gone wrong per se but definitely a learning curve I think we're quite lucky if that's the worst thing that's happened to us in Thailand so far and just make sure that you double check your dates when you're booking things. I mean, that's a really stupid thing to say and I never thought that I'd be the person to do it. But I think when you're traveling, something like this is gonna happen sooner rather than later. And it could have been a whole lot worse. I'm thankful for that. So yeah, that's why we're still in Chiang Mai. We were meant to be in Pai, but we're going to Pai today. <laughs> Lauren really likes big fish. I do like a big fish. Come out, come out wherever you are. Okay, we're gonna walk back to our hotel now and I think I'm gonna show you a tour around. Like I said, we quickly booked it last night at the bus station and it's like an eco-resort place but they also have loads of different types of accommodation so we're obviously staying in like the dorm but we've booked a like a private room in the dorm bit so we've got twin beds. I think it was £10 a night so obviously we only need one night. That's five pounds each for this beautiful place. Can't wait to show you it. It is a little bit in not the greatest area, I will say. It feels very residential, but you know, we were only here for one night. A residential area is okay with us. This is the entrance into the resort. It's just here. And then we walk in this lovely way. <laughs> this is the restaurant where we had some lunch dinner yesterday. There's an elephant. What did we have for dinner yesterday? Uh, noodles. Fried yellow noodle. It costs yeah. 50 baht. Which is so good, especially for a place like this. You see? Eco Chiang Mai. Sorry if it's difficult to hear me right now. As you can tell, it's very like green. So there's quite a lot of insects and everything and they really get loud. Like, I assume that's like a, what do they call it? Like a, a cicada? Love it. Cicada? I don't, know I don't know if we, I don't think we have them in the UK, but I hear people talking about cicadas and it's so noisy. So we've got some directions here and then this bit is the reception where you will obviously check in. Our dorms are around that way or you can head up this way. I think they're still renovating this area over here. There's a little bit of noise last night. Where should we go first, Lauren? The dorms or the pool? I want to get a video of just like the noises. Sorry. Also, the beds were really comfy, but I did wake up a few times in the night because I was a bit paranoid about bugs and insects because obviously they are going to be all around us, but I didn't actually see any. There was a gecko outside the dorm, but I don't think it came in. My eyelash extensions are becoming very sparse, but I'm scared to get them topped up again because I'm scared that I have no natural eyelashes left now. And also, I just wanted to pop in here. You will already have noticed because I made the change today and I'm very backlogged at my videos at the minute. But normally I will be uploading every Thursday 
and now I have so much content that basically I'm going to try and push out two videos a week. So Thursday and Sunday at 2pm UK time, 9pm Thai time. We will already have noticed this, this is very late news. I love that they put the names on all of the plants here. So this is meant to be, is this a jackfruit tree? Oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but there is some jackfruit up there. And here it says we are at the common and the swimming pool. Not really sure what the common is, but I think there is like toilets and showers and stuff in there. I don't know if that's, is that where people sleep as well? But here we are at the swimming pool. It is massive. I think this is the biggest swimming pool that we've had so far. And you can see there's sunbeds and everything, lovely foliage, there's so much greenery around here. Did you not see that, um, you know how they have all the signs for like what the trees are. Yeah. So I stopped by one and it said jackfruit and I was like, oh my god, it's a jackfruit tree and I looked up and there was actually jackfruit oh in the god. tree. They've also got a mango one but I couldn't see any mangoes I don't think. We keep seeing children go around in like, I don't know if you call it a uniform but they all have like matching t-shirts on so I don't know whether they're at some sort of like summer camp or something but this place does not seem busy at all. There is like a few white people but there also seems to be like some Thai people staying here and the mysterious children. That one says mango. Well, there's a couple mangoes. They're not very ripe. But there's some mangoes. Where are you taking us to now, Lauren? We're now going to the bathrooms. The bathrooms in this lovely little area where you can sit and chill out. There's a man over here. And we are woman. Head in here for the bathrooms. A little welcome mat. And you have all the sinks in the middle here with a lovely plant. And then, as you can see, it's all very like open air. Everything feels very rustic. Part of the eco hostel vibes. And then we've got showers in here. I actually haven't tried the shower yet, but it looks decent enough. And then there is also toilets here, western style toilets, which are very nice as you can see it's open up to the world there but it's just a very cool layer, I haven't really ever seen any facilities like this before Do you want to take us on into our sleeping quarters Lauren? Oh me guys <laughs> There's a little area for putting your comments or things that you want to write on the wall. We've also got a water cooler, very important when 7-Eleven is a walk away, so yeah. Nice cold water cooler, and then we walk down the dark hallway of doom. You drop the room key, and then we come into our room, which is very messy, we have not tidied it. it is beware of mosquitoes, keep the door closed at all times. Got a little window out there to the hallway but that's not much light and then we've got mosquito nets but we didn't use them last night my bed lauren's bed got a little mirror and dresser over there and a little table and chairs and then the outside window to the outside which is nice but also sometimes people walk past and that's not great a lovely little eco room this is basically the only light apart from the ones beside our beds there's no big light which gives it a very cozy vibe not bad at all for five pounds each a night what do you think <gasps> i look why do i look like that i look better close up yeah let's just film it like this not, not bad for five pound a night not bad for five pound a night would did you have a good night's sleep lauren i did have a good night's sleep lauren i would give this place like an eight out of ten i think i would be a little bit too scared to stay here alone but if you want like an eco style out in the nature resort kind of stay i really recommend this place it's called the eco resort hotel but like i said it's also got dorms as well i don't know whether i filmed enough to make a whole video if i have Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time when we go to Pi. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to watch more videos from me. I will be back next time with a new video from Thailand. Bye guys!